Hey, what up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We're sitting here taking on all about Extreme Rules. Yesterday, I made a, a video about uh, John Cena versus Rusev at Extreme Rules 2015 coming right up around the corner. And um, I talked about what I thought the chain match was going to be. I didn't really think it was going to be like a chain match on a pole. I thought maybe, uh, maybe you know, like there would be like a chain in each corner. Um... You know, uh, Russo would have like his Russian chain uh, that he would have in his, his corner. Maybe John Cena would wear his old uh, chain around his neck down to the ring with the big old padlock on it. And uh, that would sort of hit in his corner and you have to beat your guy down until you're able to grab the chain and then knock your opponent out. It can sort of be like the end of... Uh, uh, you know, uh, Triple H versus Undertaker, WrestleMania 27, where, you know, like uh, um, Undertaker um, had the move on Triple H, and Triple H is trying to reach, and he's trying to grab uh, for the um, sledgehammer inside of the ring, and maybe, you know, one of the guys would be able to grab it and be able to knock the other guy out and, and make the big save in the match. Um, but th that's not what it's going to be. It turns out on SmackDown, they laid out the rules for what the Russian chain match was going to be, and... Really, it's nothing more than what a uh, strap match is uh, in the WWE with with using a chain instead. They're going to be uh, chained together, more than likely probably around the wrist. Uh, they're going to have a wrestling match, and it's going to turn into a four corners uh, affair where basically you have to, you know, be able to beat down your opponent, and then you be have to be able to walk around the ring and be able to, you know, slap each corner. And once you touch all four in uh, in order, then you were crowned the winner. Um, I don't know. Honestly, in my mind, the last time I can remember a strap match uh, was uh, the match that was just on the WWE Network the other day. I think it was from Extreme Rules 2000 and uh, might have been Extreme Rules 2011, where it was Chad going up against JTG, uh, the breakup of Crime Time. And, uh, you know, Chad thought he had beaten down JTG and he was, you know, walking around the ring, sort of posing to the crowd. And at the same time, JTG was sneaking up behind him. And at the last second, he made the desperation jump uh, to grab uh, the, the turnbuckle uh, before Chad did. And uh, JTG was able to uh, to get the win, even though he got his ass kicked the entire match. Um I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to this match anymore at the pay-per-view. I was really looking forward to some sort of a blow-off match uh, where we would see the end of John Cena versus Rusev. Uh, I know that both of these guys are big, strong guys, but more than likely, uh, we're not going to see the big finishing move of, uh, you know, uh, John Cena, uh, you know, wrapping up Rusev in the um, uh, in the chain uh, while, while he's applying the... Um, uh, the STFU down on the floor. Um, I, mean, I, I think it's more than likely he's just going to hit an attitude adjustment and then he's just going to walk around the ring. Maybe Rusev tries to make the save at the last minute and then he has to, uh, you know, hit the attitude adjustment again uh, before slapping the last uh, panel. Where Rusev goes from there, I'm not sure, um, but um, uh, I, I got to hope that they're going to be able to figure this out. I, I thought for a long time, once Rusev lost that undefeated streak, he was going to lose a lot of steam. And here he is uh, losing one match uh, to John Cena. They should have gone their own separate ways after that so Rusev wouldn't have to lose another one. I want to see uh, Cena keep the United States Championship because I like the U.S. Open uh, Tournament. on uh, Not tournament, but the Open Challenge, I guess you can say, on Monday Night Raw. They didn't do it last night on SmackDown because of the uh, tag match with Daniel Bryan. But... Um, I think I really like the fact that every week on Raw, even though Lance Storm says that it's basically uh, the same match week in and week out where Cena uh, goes through the headlock, he gets a lot of heat, he hits the attitude adjustment, uh, the guy kicks out at the finish, uh, the guy hits his finish on John Cena, he kicks out, Cena hits another attitude adjustment, and then he gets the win. Um, basically, that's what Lance said the, the match is week in and week out on Raw, even though people get really pumped up about it. I think it's cool to get to see John Cena really wrestle a match. So many times we see him wrestle matches uh, in the uh, main event of, of uh, Monday Night Raw or SmackDown, and the match always ends in DQ or count out, or just, you know, tomfoolery, where we don't even get a finish, but now, you know, you can see a, a good John Cena match, sometimes in the opening hour, sometimes in the second hour, and it's a real match, I mean, it's not a match that you'd see on pay-per-view, but it's a match that you'd really want to see with a real finish, we've seen him wrestle, you know, uh, Wade Barrett, Stardust, aka Cody Rhodes, Dean Ambrose, 
uh, you know, week in and week out, you can really hope for your favorite heel to really go out there and have a good match. You know they're not going to win, but they get to look really good, and that's important. So we'll see what happens with this Rusev versus um, John Cena, a.k.a. strap match with a chain. I'm not really looking forward to this as much as I thought I was, but we'll see. Stream rules right up around the corner.